Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog and today I'm going to show you how to make your own weed and grass killer without using any toxic chemicals. Now a lot of people use Roundup to kill weeds and grass, but you know it, it contains a lot of harmful chemicals. Some people think it could cause cancer. So it's not something that you probably want to be spraying around, especially if you have kids or if you're spraying around your garden or something like that. So for this this recipe or the ingredients that you need to make this organic grass and weed killer, all you need is a gallon of vinegar, one cup of dish soap, and a half a cup of salt. So we're gonna put this together and then we're gonna test it out and see how well it works. So first what I like to do is uh, get the vinegar and I'll go ahead and put about half of the vinegar in the spray container. The reason I put just half of it in there is that now we're gonna add the soap and the salt and then we can make sure it gets mixed in real good and then we'll add the rest of the vinegar. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and put a cup of dish soap. So go ahead and put a cup of dish soap in there. All right, so we got our cup of dish soap. Now we're gonna add a half a cup of the salt. And you can put, you can buy this cheap at the Dollar Store. The Dollar Tree had this. So a half a cup of salt. And it doesn't have to be perfect. So go ahead and pour that in there. Now you're gonna make sure it gets mixed in real good. And then you can go ahead and add the rest of the vinegar and you can wash the, the salt that's accumulated on the top. Wash that on down in there. Pour the rest of the vinegar in. And now we're ready to test this out. So here's our garden. We got some tomatoes growing here. And you can see the, the grass growing up next to the beds. And it's really annoying to keep trimmed. So we're gonna go ahead and spray it with our organic spray that we made. Spray it really good. And then, like I said, this stuff works really, really good. It, I think it works better than the actual chemical spray. I don't know exactly how the stuff works, but I know it works good. So it's almost three o'clock in the afternoon right now. So we'll come back later when it's starting to turn brown and we'll show you that. Here's some in our driveway that we sprayed in the past. As you can see, it absolutely destroyed it. It killed it pretty good. It's brown, it's all dry now. And one thing I forgot to say is that when you spray, when you spray this weed killer, you wanna make sure it's on a, a nice hot day and it's really, make sure it's dry outside. It hasn't rained for a while and it's not gonna rain, you know, right away after you spray it. And that'll make sure that it works the best when you do it on a hot, dry day. Make sure it's, make sure the grass is real dry and it work, it works the best. See, it's been a little over an hour and you can see the grass is already starting to, dry up and die it's really getting a darker darker color here's the, what the normal grass look like and that's what that's looking like starting to get get a little brown see the brown in there so yeah this stuff does work really good so probably a few more hours it'll look brown like the the other grass that i showed you here's some more grass that we sprayed in our driveway before and as you can see it completely dried it up and killed it so yeah probably tomorrow around this time it'll be completely brown on this entire edge of the garden here all right so it's been about three days since we sprayed and as you can see all the grass has pretty much died it's completely brown so this stuff works really really good so let me know what you think in the comments be sure to subscribe to the channel and i'll see you next time hey guys welcome back to the vlog and today i'm going to show you how to make your own bug spray And it works great for wasps.